Hey everyone, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a simple motion graphics workflow between Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro utilizing dynamic linking. Now you can do a lot of things in Adobe After Effects that you just can't accomplish in Adobe Premiere Pro. Luckily with dynamic linking, Adobe makes it very simple to create a workflow between the two programs. I'm going to show you three methods to create a simple motion graphics workflow. So let's get started. For the first method, I'll be creating a new After Effects comp, straight from within Premiere Pro. To do this, we simply go up to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, New After Effects Composition. It's going to bring up the New After Effects Comp dialog box, and we're going to keep everything default here. You can manually change whatever kind of project settings you would like to, to fit the settings of whatever your project is. Now, if you don't already have an After Effects project open, it's going to create a new After Effects project. Okay, created our new After Effects comp, which I'm going to quickly just rename to Great Sand Dunes Lower Third. I'm going to go back to Premiere, and here we see the dynamically linked comp, but I'm going to go ahead and rename that in here too. We're going to create a quick little graphic that says Great Sand Dunes National Park. And we want it to be right here, just a very, very simple graphic with a simple animation. Okay, so we have the project and let's create a new text object here. And type in Great Sand Dunes National Park. And I'm going to quickly format this. There we go. We'll take this to 75. Okay, there we go. And then we'll put that right about here. Now when we jump back into Premiere and bring this, I'm gonna hold Alt, which will put it in my source monitor and then drag it down here. And there we go, we have our dynamically linked track here. Let me trim it up. And you can see on our program monitor here is our graphic. Now let's create this simple animation on it here. We don't have any kind of animation, just we have the graphic here dynamically linked. So let's go back to After Effects. And I'm just going to quickly drop in an animation that I was using. I'm going to go under Recent Animations. I'm going to do Fade Up Characters. I'm going to open this up, press U to see my keyframes here. And now we have a simple animation that is an animate in by each character. So now we jump back to Premiere and you can see the animation is now on our clip here. Let's try to play this back. There we go. So that's one way. You could just simply create a new dynamically linked comp from After Effects and then start to work with it, bring it into your bring it into your timeline here. Let me show you the second method. The second method, let's say we have a clip here and we wanna we want to have this clip inside of After Effects to do some changes on it. So let's select the clip and now we can go to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, replace with the After Effects composition. Now you can see we have a new a new comp here that's dynamically linked with our clip with the in and out points. Let's go back to our project panel here. And it brought in the video clip. So I'm going to drop that here in our video folder. I'm going to grab both of these. Actually, let me rename this one. This is our new one. I hate how you can't name it. Uh, let me call this Great Sand Dunes Main Title. It's just really annoying how to, you have to name them this way. I'm going to go back into Premiere, grab the same one, Great Sand Dunes, main title. Now if we look here in Premiere, you can see it, it brought our dynamically linked comp straight into our timeline. So now let's go back to After Effects. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to our other lower third. I'm going to simply copy this text file to save us a little time, go back to our main title, 
and then paste this here so it has the animation and everything and now I'm simply going to put this in the middle I'm gonna go over here to align I'm gonna align it to the center then I'm gonna reformat it a little I'm gonna take this just make it quite a bit bigger uh, let me take that lower maybe about 200 there we go now align that and that is looking good. Now I can go to the clip layer down here. This is our video layer. And if I hit T, that'll bring up my opacity. I can just drag this down a little bit, make that text pop a little bit more, maybe a 75%. There we go. And now if I go back to Premiere, you can see all of our changes automatically update. And now we have our animation as well. If we go to the head of the clip here, let's play this back. Okay, now you'll notice it's a little choppy. Now, you can take a big performance hit when you're using dynamic linking. So one way to get around this is go over to your resolution here in your display, in your program monitor. Just bring that down until it's playing back a little bit more smoothly. And it still might get a little hung up. But as we can see, our animation's there. And that is our second method. So let's look at our third method. The third method, now I've got another clip here in the sequence. The third method is import an existing After Effects comp. Now I can do this, say I went into After Effects and I created some nice title and now I just wanna bring it in. So I can simply go to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, Import After Effects Composition. Now I'm gonna to navigate to my project file, which is buried way under all these projects, which is right here. This is the After Effects project I was working with. So if I click here and then I go to the comps folder, this is one that I created, uh, obviously not in the tutorial. These are the two that we just created. This one I created beforehand. So I'm gonna click okay. And you can see it, it brought it right in here to our project panel. Now we can drag it straight down here. You can drag it straight down here, but I, I kind of avoid that. What I do is I hold Alt, double click, it launches it here in the source monitor, and then I just grab the uh, video portion here and bring it down. And now let's take a look. Okay, so there's the one I created before. Now, we, ha we still have our video clip within Premiere Pro. So it's all, it's all, these are three different methods, whatever's the best way you like to edit. If you like to have your video clips and assets here and just have the text and uh, the other elements within After Effects, or if you like to bring the video and audio assets into After Effects to edit them, because now if I wanted to do that opacity change to my video layer, I can do that all within Premiere and just keep the text separate. So I could bring this down to 75% here in the effects control panel and get the same effect. So I don't have to jump back into After Effects. Again, it's all, it's all based on you and your preferences of workflows. But these are three different methods of, of ways to get your dynamic link going in between After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. And one other quick pro tip, when you're working with dynamic link in Premiere Pro, now let's say we had our After Effects project, let's go ahead and close that out. Now we're back in Premiere here. Now let's say we're working within the Premiere project and we wanna make some changes here. Like I said, it takes a bit of a, of a performance hit there. So if I wanna make changes to this dynamic link, this After Effects comp, I can quickly select it, control click, right click, and select edit original. And that's gonna launch the After Effects project that this comp is located in. And then we can make our changes in that After Effects project. And once again, our dynamic link will auto update. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.